Hey everybody, this is Jeff Baker and this is barbecuing on my front porch. Today's meal idea comes from Donna Hamilton that lives right here, a neighbor of mine in Chula Vista, California. And she says she likes pretty much any kind of meat, beef, pork, chicken, with vegetables. She goes she even likes seafood, but her body doesn't agree with it. So we're going to do a seafood medley today. I'm only kidding. Okay, we're going to do a pork tenderloin cordon bleu. This is really going to be good, Donna. You're really going to like this. We got a lot going on here today, so we're going to get right to it. We're going to start, actually, we're going to start with the vegetables. I'm going to saute some vegetables, but we're going to do a little bit different sauteing, I'm sure, than what you've ever heard before. We are going to start out with a gob of butter. My cooking always has butter in it. Is it good for you? Who knows? Who knows good taste. We're using quite a bit here. Now to the butter. We're going to add brown sugar. I know that's different. Tell me. Once you, once you taste this, it's going to be unbelievable. I've got one pork tenderloin on there already. Let's see how that comes along. I'll show you how we fix that here in a second. Alright, brown sugar, and then the coup de gras, we're taking a packet of onion mix, onion soup mix I should say. I know, that's different, I'm sure you've never heard of that. And a little salt, pepper. on a high heat. I've got some sliced up uh, corn on the cobs, I've got some sliced up zucchini, and I've got some cut up broccoli. Now the corn on the cobs were not from my garden, but the zucchini and the broccoli are from mine. Before the gopher got to this around a little bit. So you get a flavor that you've never seen before. I'm actually going to go put some more right here. I think you're actually really going to enjoy this. So this is a totally different flavor. The onion soup mix really is going to add to that. A little more butter in there. Always good to have butter. Always good to have lots of butter. Alright, let that sit on the high heat for a while. Now to the pork tenderloin cordon bleu. What I've done is marinate this for the last couple of hours. And what it's marinating is in ketchup, water, fresh lemon juice, vinegar, minced onion, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, garlic powder, and ground mustard. I know that's a lot, but it makes for the best marinade. I've also reserved a little bit so we can baste it as it's cooking. In fact, I'm going to turn this one. is trying to not get these things to fall apart. It's going to be pretty hard to do. All right, let me show you what we're doing here. Hopefully, I've got a different different perspective today. Hopefully, it's going to let you be able to see. Hopefully, you can see this. Got the pork tenderloin, excuse me, and then I slid it in the middle. And then to that, we're going to add a thin slice of ham, and it calls for mozzarella cheese, but I like Swiss cheese, so I'm using Swiss. And all we're doing is rolling this up into like a little pinwheel, just like that. And what we're going to do, let's 
plenty long, so I'm going to cut this off a little bit, try to even it up. Like I said, cut a slit into this tenderloin. We're just going to put that in there, and we're going to secure this, hopefully, with some soaked toothpicks. Like I say, the key to this is not getting it to fall apart. And that's the hard part. Like I say, there's a pork tenderloin. As I said before, any, any tenderloin is the tender. Tenderest cut of meat you can get in beef or pork. Alright, I'm going to put this baby on the grill and see what happens here. There's a bubble in here. Some brown sugar in there. Down you down you're gonna love this. It's pork tenderloin. It's it's really good stuff. Uh, tip, forgot one thing again. Never fails every time I forget something. Forgot the brush. All right, I'm gonna paste a little bit of this on here. This marinade is delicious. I mentioned uh, in my last video, pork you can you can leave a little pink. It doesn't have to be all the way done. You don't want it bloody, but pink on pork is fine. I like say I've been marinating for about two hours in the refrigerator. Let me know if you like this perspective any better or not, or if you like it the other way. I'm just trying to get it where you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing, but I don't know if that's doing a job or not. Vegetables are bubbling. Also made some brown rice earlier to go with this. I don't know, has anybody, has everybody seen these yet? These little bowls of self-made self rice that come by minute? They're already pre-cooked. Throw them in the microwave for 60 seconds and you got your rice. Amazing. Did not get any easier than that. Oh, I think you're going to like this stuff, Donna. I know you like vegetables. This actually, this vegetable recipe, you could actually add uh, like big chunks of smoked sausage or whatever, make a full meal out of it. In fact, the recipe actually had that in it. It had uh, chunk sausage and it was actually put together in a foil package for a whole meal. I just amended it here a little bit just to make a little bit of a vegetable medley. I mentioned on my last video about white foods. And I, the reason I even came up with that, I had a coupon for some light soup. I think it was Progresso or something like that. And you had to buy three, but you got half off. So I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. You know, how bad can that be? I'm thinking, yeah, okay, it's going to be low in calories. It's going to be good for me. It's still going to be good flavor, I'm sure. Not personal opinion. Like I said last week, if you're new to cooking, equate light with no flavor. You will, however, lose weight by eating light food. And the reason you're going to lose weight is you're going to take about two bites and want to throw the rest of it away. Personal opinion. Ah, here we go now. Come to the part of falling apart. Do take the 
rice that I had made up. That is so cool. 60 seconds in the microwave and you got you got rice. Pre-cooked and ready to go. Everything but the corn actually came out of my garden. I beat the gopher to it. Okay, this would probably be done a little bit more, but we're on a time constraint here. So, we're going to go with what we got. talking about down tell you what if you actually make this recipe sorry but you're gonna be thinking of me every time you eat pork tenderloin from now on Heck, this is not bad Some more done than I thought it would be still could be a little bit more done but it's like the time constraints that we'll have to do take a look see what you think Donna I think it's actually looking pretty good and now, Donnie, you can tell your friends and neighbors, laissez les bon temps rouler, let the good times roll. Next week, Valeria Porter wants a chicken recipe. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with that one yet, but tune in, it's going to be a good one. So, Donna, I thank you for the recipe idea, because now I'm getting ready to eat your pork tenderloin.